Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be going over today how to download, install mods for Star Wars Empire at War. This game is incredible. It came out back in 2006, but holy moly, it is still going strong. In fact, it has peaked a few times of players just within the last few years, and modders will really, really keep this game going. So this is a really, really easy guide. And I made a video... Gee, that must have been three years ago now. Um, but I just wanted to make an updated version just in case, you know, anybody wants to see something newer. Um, it is all relatively the same, but, I'm, you know, it's going to be a little more streamlined. So, anyway, so we're here on the Steam page for Star Wars Empire at War. We're going to go ahead and go over here to Workshop. It's also down here. You can also just click Visit This Workshop. But we're going to go up here because it's easier. So, left-click on Workshop, and it's... <laughs> First time you see this, you're be, you'll be a little taken aback by how many things there are. Holy moly, there's a lot. So, you know, let, let's start with Thrawn's Revenge. This is the, in my opinion, one of, if not the best mods for this game. Um, it, it absolutely, completely overhauls the game. Um, it just adds so many different things, so many factions and everything. It's, it's, it's the most downloaded mod of all time. Um, for this game. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and clip, clip, click, excuse me, subscribe right here. So I've already subscribed to it, but all you're going to do is left click and that's it. You'll see that it will start downloading. So it does take up a gigabyte, but all these mods are big. <laughs> now, if you scroll down, kind of looking at the mods, so we're on the mod page. If you scroll down, you'll see this on every mod. Every single mod will have this somewhere. Steam mod equals and then a number. What you're going to do is you're actually going to just highlight that whole thing and then control C and copy it. Okay. Again, every single mod, all you're going to do is scroll down and just find this. It will be in the description, I promise you. <laughs> okay. So once you have that copied, all of Steam mod, the equals and the number, nothing else but that whole thing, you're going to have that copied. You're going to go back to library. You're going to go over here, if you see my mouse is on the left side of the screen, you're going to right click on the game, and you're going to go down to properties, okay? Now once you're in this, you'll see general, you want to stay in here, and you're going to scroll down to where it says launch options. Now you will have this empty, this will be empty, just like this. What you're going to do is you're going to control V and paste that right here. So remember back on that mod page when we found the Steam mod equals and then the number, you're going to put that matching mod, that Steam mod equals and then that number into this slot here. So if I'm doing Thrawn's Revenge, which is the one that we just looked at, it's going to be this one. But each mod will be different and each mod will have a different number. So make sure to get the matching number um, in there. Okay, so once it's downloaded, once it's fully done, you're just going to close out of here. You're going to click play and launch with forces of corruption. It will give you this little menu. Always launch it with forces of corruption. If you launch it in just the normal play Star Wars Empire at War, you will launch the base game with no mod. Um, if you want to run the mod, you have to run forces of corruption. Okay, so once we're on that, you're just going to click play and hopefully... There we are, Thrawn's Revenge. So it just launches the game with the mod, completely overhauls the game. Um, and if you're wondering kind of what the difference is between Forces of Corruption and the normal game, um, Forces of Corruption was actually added to the game by the devs to help with mod capabilities. Um, they saw the potential future of this game with them not working on it anymore um, and really added that for the people. So you can see now we're on Thrawn's Revenge. Uh, we launched it through Forces of Corruption again. And that's it. That's really all you have to do. With It's the same thing with all the mods. All the mods work the exact same way. In fact, you can see I'm subscribed to these ones here. If I wanted to do this one, you know, it's a different mod, but it's the same thing. You go down here and you find, ooh, look at that, Steam mod, and then the number. And once you click subscribe and it's downloaded, you do that same thing. You go back here, you right-click, properties, down here, and then you just change that to that one. So super easy, super simple. That's all you have to do. Just make sure to launch it with Forces of Corruption, and you'll totally be good. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure to get back to every single one, I promise. Um, and hey, have a good rest of your day.